Hi, welcome back. Today I'm actually going to do a video regarding using the Steam Deck as a desktop computer. Here I'm capturing my Steam Deck in docked mode over HDMI and currently using an Xbox <laughs> gamepad to control it. I'm going to go here, go to settings. I just want to see. On this here, it is the full SteamOS. It's just regular bone stock. SteamOS is what it is. So SteamOS Hollow. And I do have a keyboard mouse connected to it. I am having it output only 1080p. This is how I've got it set up. And I actually have my VRAM set to four gig. But what we're gonna do is we're actually going to jump into desktop mode and I'm going to show using DistroBox how I got DaVinci Resolve to work inside of SteamOS. I can just go here to settings real quick, go to about system. As you see, it is SteamOS 3.4.8. Uh, so there is that. Um, the driver version for Mesa still shows <laughs> a weird version number, even though it is allowing ray tracing in some games. But what I set up is I set up a Fedora 37 or Fedora 38 inside of a distro box container. So I'm just going to do that and I have it set up as a Resolve Linux. So I'm just going to hit enter, let it enter the distro box. I'm going to clear that out, just do a Neo fetch. It is Fedora 37 using Valve's Linux kernel. It knows that it's under KDE and everything like that, but you see it is the custom 0405 APU. But, whoop, let me go back here. I am going to move this over here and obviously you see cryo utilities and all of that. So, you know, it is SteamOS. Now, the thing that I did have to install is I did have to use DNF to install ROCM-OpenCL. That was the missing thing to get DaVinci Resolve running on the Steam Deck, uh, SteamOS. Even if you unlock Arch, it's kind of hard to get it to install because you got to add the actual Arch repos to the Steam Deck, and but then you start you can start messing stuff up. So I found DistroBox is a good way of doing these modifications without messing up the base operating system. So I have that. And during the install, you do have to install dependencies like libcrypt and everything, uh, fuse, all of that stuff. It will give you the dependencies as you're installing it. And I find with the installation of DaVinci Resolve, because of the way SteamOS is acting, you can't launch, launch the DaVinci Resolve installer with just your regular user. Uh, because I do have the installer inside of my main folder because DistroBox does see your main system folder. So if I do an LS, you see everything there and DaVinci Resolve install is in the downloads folder. But I found I had to use sudo to actually get it to install because apparently the installer is, it's a form of an app image and it couldn't mount it because of permissions, but if with sudo fixes that and then it launches it. But I do have to go to opt resolve bin. You do have to go into the directory where the binary is at. And then from here, I can just do, I'm gonna run the resolve command. I have my resolve studio USB stick connected here to a USB hub. Gonna run that, Resolve should launch. Now I do have some uh, projects I did create here. I'm gonna go to this project. It was a previous project I did. Now I'm gonna let it generate previews for a second here. I can go while it's doing that, I can go over here to file. Actually, let me go here to preferences. Okay. So you got memory GPU, and as you can see, the AMD GPU is showing up with only four gig of uh, RAM available. 
OpenCL is functional. The audio issue I run into, the audio is there. And if I, if I hit play, it'll play. And as you can see over here on the right, the audio meter is detecting the audio. So Resolve is fully aware of the audio being there, but it is able to play back. And this is all gameplay footage I captured in desktop mode on the Steam Deck itself. But as you can see, let's say I wanna cut out the point where I'm walking up to that area. I can just go here. I'm gonna hit uh, Control, Shift, and chop that part out. So DaVinci Resolve, you know, it is fully functional. And when you render out the video, now it will render the done audio, but there is a catch with rendering using an AMD GPU with a full open source driver stack. So I've got Mesa for OpenGL, the Mesa RADV driver for Vulkan, and the Rockham OpenCL driver installed. You do not get access to the AMD's AMF encoder at all. <laughs> you are stuck with CPU-based encoding. My biggest issue that I have been running into with this, just to, because I wanted to test this, mainly because I'm thinking of switching to an AMD GPU, and I wanted to test an AMD GPU without going and buying one first, so this is the way I've gone about it. But just for the heck of it, I'm gonna start rendering just a small, a small clip here, what I will do is I'll go here to that clip. I'm going to go back to edit actually, and I'm actually going to remove these other games. This last one is Doom Eternal that I captured <laughs> on the Steam Deck. But with just the Division 2, I'm going to let it render out a full video file. So uh, instead of rendering it out, to my external drive, I'm just going to let it render to the internal videos folder inside of SteamOS. Click OK. I'm just going to give it a quick name, Deck. <laughs> OK, and I've got it set to QuickTime, MPEG-4, 1920, 1080. And I'm going to make sure the audio, export audio is enabled, linear PCM. I'm going to click render, and if you look in the upper left-hand screen of the, the video monitor, when I click render, it's actually going to render at a very high frame rate on this, on this quad-core CPU with eight threads. It's currently rendering 79, 78, 100 frames a second on the CPU. So that rendered out in 38 seconds. This is one of the things I wanted to test. Uh, with AMD's GPUs, so that is kind of cool. I'm gonna leave this running and actually go here. I'm gonna go into videos. I don't believe I have anything in there. Well, there's the deck MOV. I do have VLC installed, and I should see audio come through the cam link connection. I just turned down the game audio some, but as you can see, it did render out the audio totally fine. And VLC plays it back totally fine. Um, the game obviously was running at low settings, but I did capture the gameplay at a full 1920 by 1080, 60 frames a second, using VA API, actually on the Steam Deck and actually uh, captured in a H.264 or no, I believe I captured it in H.265 because I was getting uh, render overloads in H.264 and I had the quality rate factor set to 20. In fact, while we're here, I can actually check what I had OBS set to. Just launch it and check the settings that I had set inside of uh, the Steam Deck. So if I go to settings, do have the video set to 1080p, 60, no image scaling. Go to recording. Okay, yeah, Matroska, FFmpeg, VA, API, HVEC, so H.265, PCM audio, 
because if you need to record PCM audio for DaVinci Resolve on Linux to actually get the audio, it shows the Vanco GPU. I did set it to level 4.2 for 1080p 60. CQP is set to 20. So there is that. Let me know if you want to see any other tests regarding the Steam Deck. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I can see what I can get going for you. Uh, if it revolves around a distro box, I can certainly test that stuff. Like, comment below, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.